Chapter 2 The Geographical Setting and Prehistoric Cultures of India In Text Questions 2.1 1. Name the important mountain passes in the northwestern part of the Indian subcontinent. Gomal Pass, Bolan Pass, and Khyber Pass. 2. Who inhabited the upper plains of the river Ganges during the later Vedic period? Aryans. 3. What were the two important religions which took birth in the Middle Gangetic Plains? A. Jainism. B. Buddhism. 4. In which state has tank irrigation been popular since the ancient period? Tamil Nadu. 5. The Kaveri Delta is famous for which crop? Rice. 6. Name any two foreign tribes that reached India through northwestern mountain passes in ancient times. Kushanas and Huns. 7. Which region is known as the breadbasket of the subcontinent? Punjab and Sindh in the Indus Plains. In text questions 2.2. 2. 1. Name the rivers which provided a natural defense to Pataliputra, modern Putna. The Ganges, Sun, and Gondak. 2. Which region supplied iron ore and timber to Magadha? Kota Nagpur. 3. Which type of soil is good for growing cotton? Black. 4. Which famous mountain pass linked the east and west coasts of India? Palgad Pass. In text questions 2.3. 1. Which were the two main occupations of man in Paleolithic age? Hunting, gathering. 2. What were the various purposes for which prehistoric man made tools? Hunting, cutting, digging and other purposes. 3. Name the main tools of the lower Paleolithic age. A. Hand axes. B. Cleavers. C. Choppers. In text questions 2.4. 1. What name has been given to the tools of the Mesolithic age? Microliths. 2. Name a few tools made during the Mesolithic period. Triangles, lunates, and trapezes. 3. Name any two sites of the Mesolithic period. Pimbetka and Chopani Mandu. In text questions 2.5. 1. Who coined the term Neolithic? John Lubbock. 2. Mention the chief characteristics of Neolithic cultures. A. Beginning of agricultural activities. B. Domestication of animals. C. Grinding and polishing of stone tools. D. Use of pottery. 3. Name an important site of northwestern region. Mergarha. In text questions 2.6. 1. Rock painting or rock art was a distinct feature of which period? Mesolithic. 2. Name the site in Madhya Pradesh which has the maximum number of rock paintings in India. Pimbetka. 3. Point out the main subjects highlighted in prehistoric rock art. Hunting, fishing, food gathering, childbirth, rearing of a child and burial ceremony. Terminal questions. 2. Assess the influence of the geographical features of India on its history with special reference to the Himalayas and the peninsular India.
The Himalayas are the world's largest and the highest mountain ranges. These ranges have not only checked invasions but have also protected us from the cold winds coming from north. They also stop the monsoon winds from the seas which results in rainfall in the northern plains. Peninsular India includes the Deccan Plateau and the coastal plains of South India. The plateau is situated to the south of the Vindhya Mountains. A number of Chalcolithic sites inhabited by people using copper and stone tools have been found in this region. This region with the availability of water and other resources had been more suitable for human settlements than the northern part. 3. How does the environmental conditions of a region determine the resource potential? Give examples. The environmental conditions also determine the resource potential of a region. The forested region can be a rich source of timber whereas the coastal regions yield the sea products. The hilly regions with rocks containing the mineral ores can lead to the development of metallurgy. The extraction of metals and their use for tools and other purposes may add to the standard of living. 4. What were the chief features and uses of the tools used during the Paleolithic period? The chief features and uses of the tools used during the Paleolithic period were that in hand axes, the butt end is broader and the working edge is narrow. These were used for cutting the trees or digging the roots. The cleavers had a befaced edge. These were meant for splitting objects like the trunks of trees. The choppers were the massive core tools with a unifacial working edge and were used for chopping purposes. The burins were like flakes or blades. These were used for engraving on soft stones, bones or rocks. The scrapers were also made of flakes. These tools served the purpose of obtaining barks of trees and skins of animals. 5. How did the climatic changes during the Mesolithic period result in the shift in the pattern of hunting? There was a shift in the pattern of hunting from the big animals in the Paleolithic period to the smaller animals which could be attacked with the help of bows and arrows. In addition to this, fishing and fowling also became important. 6. Describe the geographical distribution of Neolithic sites. The Neolithic sites were spread over almost all the regions of Indian subcontinent. 7. Give an account of the life of the Neolithic people. Neolithic cultures were characterized by change from hunting and gathering to cultivation of plants and domestication of animals. The new polished tools made it easier for humans to cultivate, hunt and perform other activities in a better manner. It led to greater availability of food resources as well as to an increase in population, which in turn resulted in the increase in the number of village settlements. The Neolithic cultures created the conditions which helped in the growth of towns in the later period. 8. Why do some scholars use the term Neolithic Revolution for this period? This period is termed as the Neolithic Revolution on the basis of important changes in man's socio-economic life. The use of the sharp and polished Neolithic tools made it easier to cultivate the soil. It was accompanied by the practice of domestication of animals. These changes in turn resulted in the emergence of settled agricultural communities. The Neolithic people also produced pottery for the purpose of storing grains.